<laughs> oh yes, what do I have here? Let's find out right now. Wow. GVM, great video maker. They contacted me a few days ago and sent me this one for review. And disclaimer that they didn't pay me anything at all. And I'm gonna test it out and give you my honest opinion. And they've never seen this video before publishing this one on YouTube. So there's that. That's about it. Nothing. Wow, this one's a big bag. All right, so first things first is that this one already includes two light stands. Oh, wow. Packaging is good. Very well made. I can tell you now, huh? And I like that this one has three knobs right here. Let's put this out of the way for now. Wow, I'm really impressed. So next one. Okay, they made it neatly packed with this box right here. This comes with uh, two adapters already included. So that's good. And inside these two velvet bags are two 850Ds. Oh. And this one comes with a diffuser right here. So it's good. It's by color. And also you can see here, you can scan the QR code and you can download the app for you to be able to control this with your device. And this one can accept also NPF batteries. And next we have another one. So here it is, the GVM 850D. It has 264 warm LEDs and another 264 daylight ones and has 96 RGB beads. For the build quality, it's great since the body itself is made of aluminum. The back panel right here is made of plastic, but I would say it's a decent quality. I prefer the back panels of the other lights that I have used before, which are way robust than this one. I would say I'll be careful handling this one so don't drop it huh next these barn doors are plastic i have no idea why it would be nice if they are metal compared to the newer 480 rgb that i have but not a deal breaker if you're gonna ask me most especially huh if you plan on just using this on your home studio like this one and to be mounted onto the provided light stands the only issue that i can see is that when you transport both of these from place to place they could break but looking at the material i would say it's hard plastic but i prefer metal for sure than these plastic ones now onto this yoke i think huh this is the next important part of the light and since it's aluminum it makes sense because this is the main contact from the light's body to the light stand it's very sturdy and not only that this mounting bracket right here is aluminum as well and not plastic huh and gvm did a great job since some of the lights break because of the mounting bracket Brackets are made of plastic. So great build quality right here. Next is how you actually operate this GVM 850D. All right, so this panel right here, it has this on and off switch. The two lines here indicate battery and this circle, it means off. And the single line is for the AC adapter. So for the battery, it uses NPF ones. And in my case, I have these two power extras NPF replacement batteries which are actually great and never had any issues with them. All right, so they last for a long time when using both batteries. I've been testing these lights for hours and you will see that they are still at 100%. Moving on out to the left side of this body, this is where you plug the adapter, which is a great option if you have a socket nearby and when you just want to use this at your home studio. It's great that it's a versatile light. And now on this panel right here, you will see the LCD screen where you 
you can see these numbers. Like for this one, huh? It says 100. And also indicating if it's a warm light or a daylight one. As you can see right here. This light also have some additional modes compared to the other LED lights that I have used in the past. So first is the rotate mode. I am not particularly sure why it's called rotate. But in my testing, it's almost the same as the master mode. And here you can control everything too using this back panel. When you quickly press this, you can change the light output from daylight to warm as well as the U saturation and scenes. And speaking of scenes, so for you to be able to access it, you have to hold this U and saturation knob for about 3 seconds. And as you can see, here it says SC on the left side and then the corresponding scene and number. To change from scene to scene, you just have to quickly press this U and saturation knob to move from scene to scene. It's a straightforward process, I would say. Also, aside from rotate mode, there's also master, slave, and app. Slave is the mode to use if you want this light to be synchronized with other GVM 850D. This is particularly helpful if, let's say, you have two of these running at the same time and you're doing an interview. You can control them as long as they're on the same channel. And now moving on with the master mode. It's the same as rotate but with addition of this channel indicator right here. This is the normal setting to use when using the these GVM 850 LED lights. And huh, last but not the least is the app mode. This is the setting to choose when you want to control the light using your smartphone. And in this case, my iPhone right here. I have already installed the app but haven't synced it to the light yet. So to do that, turn the light on and look for this BT underscore LED name and connect. Once it's connected, it will automatically enter the app's control interface and you can actually save six custom light effects in my scenes. So here you can control different scenes such as lightning, candle, cop car, TV, party, and so on. These scenes are particularly helpful to mimic a scene. Let's say you're doing a short film that a cop pulled you over. So this cop car scene would be great for that to have a cop car effect behind you, huh? So overall, huh, these scenes come in handy to use to add effects to your videos instead of just doing them in post. So yeah, that's the overview of this slide. And now let's do some test. It's like lighting my uh, entire studio right now. What do you think? Let me know in the comment section below if you're enjoying this test as much as I do.
what do you think although this is a great light but it's not perfect since there are stuff that i am not a fan of huh in addition to the back panel as well as the barn doors which are plastic and this one huh i don't like this big gvm logo at all written in one of the barn doors really it's too big and this logo in the back is enough actually also the case that it comes with yes it's okay to have the logo but to add the logos to all of these velvet bags right here in my opinion they are too much and so when it comes to barn doors they're in the way of the yoke when you want to angle the light so what i did i placed it upside down on my light stand and it did the trick this has the same issue with the barn doors of my newer rgb 480 led and it would be nice huh if this yoke has way more clearance from the body itself so for 280 us dollars this is a great buy you already get a great powerful led light as well as two light stands and not only that you also have these well-made bags and a case to protect your gvm 850d and of course not only warm not only daylight and it's an rgb light as well all right so what do you think is this the rgb slash by color light that you are looking for would you consider huh this light kit from the other lights in the market today why and why not let me know in the comment section below and let's discuss so if you're gonna ask me who is this gvm 850d for well if you're someone who's starting a youtube channel and you wanted to up your game and you don't want to separately huh separately buy an rgb light and then the next thing is to buy the light stands and then a case etc etc then this is worth considering since it's ready to go out of the box it's actually perfect for a home studio and you already have a two-point lighting system with this kit the only thing that i'm gonna add is a softbox to get that softer look when doing a talking head video like this one since huh this light is so bright you can also use these lights for different applications such as for interviews as well as stationary lights that you can mount on the ceiling huh and just put them on slave mode so really you can't go wrong with this gvm 850d all right that's about it for this video and i hope you find it helpful if so give it a like and don't you forget to subscribe if you haven't yet and while you're at it click that bell notification icon to be notified with more awesome videos this is bernie see you in the next video goodbye for now